This is the culmination of years of research by Honda Robotics engineers, both in the U.S. and in Japan, to try and create something that would help people lead a richer and fuller life. Mobility. More than 20 years ago, Honda began research into bipedal humanoid robots that could function for the benefit of people in the real world. Hello, everybody. Hello, Osimo. Hello, Mark. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you, too. I'm very happy to be here with you today. Thank you. I'm excited to be here in Washington, D.C. The all-new Osimo received a full model change equipped with high response control system and applied mechanisms that are all newly designed. In of the robot can ascend and descend much more smoothly without even having to stop at the base of the stairs. Great job, Osimo. Well done. And of course, it takes even more balance and precision to make it back down, continuously adjusting itself as necessary all the way down. On a curve or in a straight line, which could be very useful in getting through tight spaces in a home environment. Osimo can move forward, and backward as well. Constantly adjusting its center of gravity with every step it takes, just like humans. Oh, hey, that's a great idea, Osimo. Well, as you all can see, Osimo is doing its exercises and warming up. When we first started with Osimo, it could run at a speed of five kilometers per hour. And we are going to demonstrate that five kilometer per hour run for you now. But first, I need to get out of the way. Okay, Osimo, when you have finished doing your exercises and warming up, let us know when you are ready to run. I am ready. Okay then, on your mark, get set, go. Well done, Osimo. And further innovations and advances in technology and engineering, balance has been enhanced for both climbing stairs and hopping. A key part of those improvements is in controlling and adapting to the reactive force of the ground when walking or hopping. Very impressive, Awesome. Ready for a game of soccer? Yes, I am ready. Okay then, let's show everyone what you can do. Goal! <laughs> I will be glad to. Okay then, Awesome. Oh, hit it! <laughs> Welcome, Dr. Mir. It is very nice to meet you. Now, Dr. Mir, I know you've got a presentation scheduled for tomorrow. Would you like to tell us a little bit about it? Sure, yeah. I will be speaking on stage E, I believe it is, tomorrow at 11, and I'm going to be talking about a little bit about what it's like to be an astronaut, a little bit of what my journey was like, the training that we do as astronauts, and then a little bit about life on the International Space Station. 
Wow, that sounds incredible. Now, Asimo, I understand you have a question, too. Dr. Mir, what is it like to be an astronaut? Well, the cool thing about being an astronaut is that you're doing something different every day. So I'm not just sitting in an office. Uh, one day I'm flying an airplane, another day I'm learning how to operate the spacesuit. One day I'm in a classroom taking Russian language lessons, learning all about the different systems on the International Space Station.